Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Scratch Guy, and this time we are gonna make the mobile friendly game on Scratch, and this time it's the joystick control. So, the joystick control is basically well, very popular in bed games, and this name is basically you don't know. Well, if you cannot recognize the joystick control, let me tell you, it's very, very popular, especially in uh, games like Granny Chapter 2. In which we used to move and if you still don't know what is it still can't recognize it let me show you this video clip let me check so as you can see in this joystick control so it's that's how the joystick control looks like and basically this is the compact idea which I've made this so we are gonna remake this so that you may understand how to make that and to get sure to that how it works so let's remake it for you and and firstly you have understood it that how it works well and this is the control which I was talking about so let's stop this okay I hope by seeing this video clip you may understand that what is the joystick control which I was talking about so let's start the tutorial so firstly what you need to do is that the joystick control is mainly comprised of two circles one bigger and the another smaller and the smaller one is basically movable so what you need to do is just go to paint new sprite and uh, alip shift circle and uh, it should be hollow the circle should be hollow obviously and uh, we are gonna make a circle like that choose the vector mode and the circle like this something and uh, adjust it by the size and uh, make sure that it's exactly in the center about like here okay so i think so it's the perfect size mm, wait a bit upwards yeah that's a perfect size even a bit smaller just a bit small and i think so that's the perfect size okay yeah that's the perfect size first okay so we have made this and now let's place it on so about here and uh, so when clicked go to x negative 136 y negative 65 forever mm, go to front and uh, change ghost set ghost effect to i mean to i think it's about so change ghost effect to 56 put it here and basically this is the android version am I, i'm using so that we could clearly understand that what is that we have made the project is working or not because it's basically the mobile friendly game and now this coding is completed now just duplicate the project and now remove this much coding and write go to sprite one Okay, go to sprite one. So it basically overlaps this, so I think so. We need to make it a bit smaller because this small circle is gonna be basically movable. About this much. Yeah. And now we're gonna fill this up with some color. I'm obviously choosing black color. I'll you can choose any color but I'm choosing black so when click go to sprite 1 and now take a forever if else statement and the coding is basically I'm using it's the easiest one so do not complain here that the coding is basically very very that that difficult at all well basically that's what the coding is and this much 
and putting here and just okay now take this sign and put this one here and the another one here okay so so uh, now put the lesser than and a greater than a lesser than and a greater than and touching mouse pointer okay yeah and uh, mouse yeah mouse down so i think the coding is basically still not complete so now what we're gonna do is put the exposition in the first one of this block and put the y position in second of this block so so basically the we are gonna make buns a type of a virtual square which is basically the borders of the small circle which means that how much it would move which means the barriers which means it should not go beyond this so this square i think so from the center it should be 70 from value 70 so the x position is 136 so let me check yeah the x position 136 so what you need to do is if x position is less than negative 66 and x yeah and x position is more than it's more than huh? yes so basically if x position is less than basically if x position is more than negative 66 okay i'm sorry no okay and then this one is correct if x position is less than negative 66 so negative 66 is i think a bit upwards over here and it will not go beyond negative 66 and if x position is more than negative 206 okay so which means negative 206 is i think a bit downwards and it should not go beyond this and uh, y position should be less than i think so um If x position in this and, x and y position, okay, huh? Oh, <sighs> lol. Basically, it came. So, oh, my gosh, just losing control over you. Sorry for this, and okay. And Y position is more should be less than I think so well negative five and Y should Y position should be more than negative one hundred and thirty five okay so I think so it's made so I think so we could use this now. Oh, we forgot something. Set ghost effect to 56. Okay. Set ghost effect to 56. This was basically, well, important. And now. Okay. Basic. Okay. What's this? I think we have completed this, but I think there's a problem. <coughs> so if x position is less than, oops, so. okay.
okay i think it's more than this so i think 70 is more than this so i think so it should be reduced till 60 so just change values like negative 36 and uh, so instead of negative 206 we need to write negative 196 just decrease the value just increase the value with the 10 and instead of the five instead of this five yeah I think that should be five yes this should be negative five and in this 135 we need to write negative 125 so i think that worked okay that works still so we have made that now we need to make another sprite so what you need to do is just make any sprite i'm choosing the red dot because a circle is basically we don't need to make it more sensible we don't need to use it we need to don't turn it around or make it point any direction so i'm choosing circle so now now come on to sprite 2 again and now make the another one called yep script so when clicked forever go to front and now take four ifs four if statements one two three and the last one four so so yeah so now we need to take now we need to take the greater than less than greater than no sorry less than and the greater than so now in the two of them you need to put exposition and in the other two of them you need to put y position and now if x position is more than negative 134 and x position is less than negative 138 and the uh, y position is more than negative 63 and it's less than negative 67 so now now broadcast a message in everywhere okay drag in every broadcast a message and now in the first message it's exposition is less than negative 138 so it will be l which means the left and in the another you need to put right r i'm so and if the y position is less less than negative 67 so it should be like d which means it's gonna do go down and the uh, rest of it's u which means up okay and now let's go there and when clicked go to x anywhere and we are, we are choosing this 69 by 45 so and that's just now when i receive these four when i receive u when i receive r and when i receive l so change x by 10 in r and change x by negative 10 in l change y by 10 in u and okay and change y by negative 10 in d so i think that would work so let's start yeah that's the same okay let me show you what what is uh, made so yeah 
yeah, I did it. So, okay, I am pointing towards right, it's going towards right, I'm pointing towards you, it's going up, it's um, pointing towards right, and it's going diagonally also. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you soon in my next video. Goodbye.